Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily from Notably Emily, and today I want to share some of my favorite stationery items with you. It's going to be a long list. I'm going to try to keep it short, but it's hard when you talk about things that you love. So let's get right into it and see what I have to share with you today. The first thing I wanted to show you is a couple of my favorite fountain pens. I'll be doing a more in-depth video on all of the fountain pens that I have and use, but I wanted to talk about two of them today. My first favorite one is the Twisby VAC 700R Iris. I have it in a medium nib and it is just beautiful. I love it because it's a demonstrator pen. It has such a huge ink well and it's rainbow. I mean, what else is there really to say? It writes beautifully and it just looks so great on my desk and any ink that you put in it will look good with the rainbow you have on it. The other pen I wanted to talk about, which is my newest addition, is the Twisby Diamond 580 in the rose gold number two version. I also have this in a medium. It just is so beautiful. I love the colorway. I love the white and the rose gold. To me, it's so elegant and I still really love that it's also a demonstrator pen and it's a nice addition to my collection. Next, I want to talk about my favorite journals and notebooks. I won't spend too much time on this because I have a whole other video on flipping through both this journal and my Camel TN. This is a Loish Term 1917. It's blue, but you can't really see it that well because it is in a leather cover. The leather cover is from Stride Ridge. It's a local artisan here in Canada. Loish Term was an accidental favorite for me. I always really loved the A5 size, but I didn't know that it was actually fountain pen friendly until I started using fountain pens and was pleasantly surprised. I have the dot grid and I believe it's 251 pages. Its paper quality is awesome. The dot grid is perfect for me so I can be really free form with whatever I'm writing in. And it's just thick enough that I can get a lot of writing in here. It's the same one I've been using for most of 2022 and I'll probably just go until the end of it for 2023 and possibly replace it. Definitely recommend. And I guess the color of it doesn't really matter as much when I'm using it in a cover, but I do really like the, the sky blue. You can see it a little bit. My Camel TN, another favorite of mine. It's the only TN that I have and it's the first one I've ever bought. I really love it. It's so customizable. It's the perfect size for me. I tend to write a lot. I use it for daily journaling or I did for, for the second half of 2022. I also use it for planning now and I use it to keep the swap journals that come to me from Olivia and Emma. You can learn more about that in my flip through video, but essentially we each have one TN insert and we're mailing it to each other and each of us do a few spreads before sending it off again. So it's like a catalog for the three of us over 2022 and now into 2023. And I like to keep it in my TN when I have it and uh, replace it when the next one comes in. Finally, a new favorite for me as well. This is my first Hobonichi. It's the five year in A5. The paper quality is incredible because it's Tomoe River paper. It's the grid, which I'm not used to. I haven't used grid paper before, but I'm starting to really like it. And of course, it's just so beautiful and easy to write on no matter what pen I'm using, no matter what ink I'm using, it always shows the best quality of the inks, which is something I really like about it. Of course, I've only been using it for a few days into 2023, but it's quickly become a favorite and I can't wait to put it into the undyed leather cover that I bought recently, but I'm still waiting to do that for now. Next, I wanna talk about 
some washi and pet tapes that I have that are my favorites. I want to be quick, but this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite categories of stationery, so it might be a little while. The first one that I wanted to talk about is this Peon Plates Washi. I use it a lot in my journals as a beautiful frame for dates and the words, especially in gold, are just such nice little elegant touches in a journal spread. So these are very versatile to use for collaging, for journaling, for dates, for anything that you really need a beautiful frame for. I just think they add such a nice touch when I'm writing in the date somewhere and I will use my Uniball one pen in black to write on it because it won't smudge. So this is a great washi tape I picked up recently. Another one that I really love is this Freckles Tea tape. It's a PET tape and I tend to go for PET tapes, especially of this kind, over washi tape. I really love that it's clear and that it's opaque, which is a big thing for me because I tend to collage a lot and put lots of elements on top of each other. For washi, it's beautiful because it goes right into the paper and it looks like it's printed right on. But for PET tape, you get that added benefit of you can put it on any layer of your collage and it will show up just as bright as it does on the roll. This one is super unique for me because it's pinks and grays and whites, but it's not too bubblegum pink. It's very more like blush reds and, and muted berry colors and whatnot. So it really gets a lot of use um, from me. And the, the repeat is quite long as well. Another one of my favorites, and this one is pretty unique as well is the plus minus film noir i believe this is number three version this is in white it's just so gorgeous again it's another pet tape it's very loud it's another pet tape and i love that there's so many elements that are opaque and then there's also quite a lot of transparent elements so this is again really great for layering to add another component to your collages and to your journals. Um, you can put, I like to put, you know, maybe some of the roses and berries underneath and put this over top and make it look like a really cool film spread or film strip. And again, the, the repeat on this is really long and there's different sizes of, of frames. One more PET tape before I go off the rails and talk about it this whole time is this fairy ball handwriting number two in the matte with gold foil. This one, again, just stunning. You can tell I really like gold and gold elements. And this one I find is perfect for a last finishing touch on a spread or, or a collage. I love to cut out the little elements on their own and use them as just a pop of gold, or you can use the entire phrase on its own and it is subtle, but it's just really beautiful. I don't use washi tape super often, but I really like this one. It's by Peon. It's a black and white tape, so part of it you'll see is a black background, and then it fades into white with black ink on it, and then back to black with white ink, and back and forth and back and forth. So. I like using this a lot in my spreads. The white is really nice for a very subtle piece or component to a collage, whereas the black is great for adding a lot of depth or drama or dimension to a spread without it being too, too much. I tend not to use black a whole lot because I find it can be kind of harsh, especially with the colors and, and bright things I usually use. But sometimes, you know, that's just what a spread calls for. So I use this washi tape um, where I can. And I love that you get kind of two in one. You get the black and the white. An honorable mention here are the Freckles Tea Date Seal sticker rolls. This one, it just comes right off like a sticker. 
which is amazing because otherwise I'm cutting out a lot of stuff from those PET tapes, which I don't mind, but it can be time consuming. This is really easy to use and you can see it will probably last me forever. You get every day, um, you get day, but one to 31 as well. I've used this in my daily journaling. I've used this in my regular journal, you know, it's, it's really versatile or just as a nice little piece in, in a collage. It doesn't have to be the date. Next, I wanna talk about stamps and ink. I thought I could do these two together. Really hard to choose my favorites, but I thought this was a good cross section here. I have some Versafine Claire Pigment ink. This is really, really black. It's waterproof as well. And I tend to use this a lot because it's really inky, really black. It doesn't take a lot and it's lasted me years and years and has no signs of stopping. I also have some Versa Magic, the little dew drop uh, chalk inks. These ones are great because they're opaque on dark paper, on light paper, and they don't bleed through pages like the Versafine does. So I have to be okay with this showing through on the page if I'm using it. I don't use a lot of different colors. That's basically it. I have some gold and silver, but I don't use those a ton. This little cat date stamper is a ride or die for me. I've used it quite a lot. And whenever you see a date stamped, it's with, with this date stamper. I got this at Paper Plus Cloth and it's just so simple, easy to use. You know, it's pretty standard. It's gonna last me a long time. I have these Yeon Charm Daydreaming and Night Thinker stamps. They are classics. They've been around for a while. Ever since I first saw them a couple of years ago, I've wanted them so bad <laughs> and I was finally able to purchase them. So I use these quite a bit. I really identify with the Night Thinker stamp personally. So I thought the two together were just perfect and I love the little stars and the little moon element. A uh, peon stamp here. I believe this is also a, actually this is a Yeon charm as well. I totally lied. So here's another Yeon charm. Use this absolutely all the time. Use it a ton. It's just a book. You can't really read the writing on the, on the front, but it's just so simple and elegant and I can basically put it anywhere. And it's a good size as well. It's not too small, but it's not super huge. Like I was saying before, here's a peon stamp. It says good things are coming. You can tell that I really like things with words on them or simple phrases. It's all about collaging and putting things together. So I like having simple elements to choose from. And finally, I cannot think of the name right now, but I have two of these different kinds of stamps. It's a desk lamp with some journals on it and it just says happiness. I felt that this really encompassed how I felt when I sit down at my desk with my little desk lamp and I'm getting buried in papers and, and stationery. So I like to use this one um, when I can. Finally, for the stamps, I have this lovely box. It's the Lily of the Valley set from Freckles Tea. There's 10 pieces in it and it came in this little wooden box, as you can see. I really, really liked this set because it has a lot of different elements that you can mix and match or use in different collages, different contexts, different spreads. You have really large ones like this one, which is a bunch of wildflowers and it's quite a, a good size as well. So it can be a real statement stamp on a spread. This beautiful flower frame is another really versatile one and it's just so dainty and light. You can use it for basically anything. I also really love the stamp. I think it's just so classic and it's great to use, especially in snail mail or sending a package to someone or for a travel themed spread, it's really great. Also the film strip goes really well with the plus minus tape that I have and can keep that sort of film theme to it. Also these super teeny tiny stamps are really nice too. I don't tend to go for really small stamps these came in the set and I like that this one is a white space stamp and this one's just a really simple, I believe it's a peony, but I could be wrong. 
And of course we have these three Lily of the Valley stamps of different sizes, which is really nice, and some words and script on this one. I think I've used this one and this one the most, but I, I love them all individually, and I'm glad that I got the whole set. I'm calling this section the more practical, functional pieces of stationery that I really love, but are also really cute. I have a couple of clips here that I use all the time. I have this hand paper clip. Um, it's brass and it's heavy. It's a good size, but it's still really cute as well. And I have this Bonox big heavy duty clip. It's really, really strong. So it's perfect for larger journals or pages that really just don't want to stay down and it makes it easier to journal in them and sort of wrangle all the pages. So this one is really great for those types of pages. I very recently bought two sets of Midori clip bookmarkers. I got this set, which is Moon, Phases, and Cats. They are extremely thin. They're only 0.1 millimeter thin and very lightweight, of course. So when you add them to your pages, they don't bend or damage the page, but are still really, really cute. So I wanted to show one of the sets that I bought recently. I've been using the weather set a lot in my multiple journals, and I haven't dug into this one yet. So I wanted to show at least one of them in this video. Another really functional item for me that I use constantly, especially because I use so many PET tapes, is this sticker book. I bought it from the Aesthetic Studio, who is a local maker in Mississauga, I believe, and she created the design that's on the front and back of the sticker book. It's about A6 size, and it's, it is what it says it is. You can reuse the pages to put stickers in. This reminds me of being a kid and I had a, a Barbie one of these where I would put all my, my favorite stickers that I wanted to keep forever. But in this case, I cut out a lot of my PET tapes. You can see that fairy ball handwriting tape from earlier. And I keep the pieces in here for later when I wanna use them. So I sometimes don't feel like actually writing or doing anything in my journals. I just kind of wanna play with my stationery and this is a perfect way to do that. Here is some of the butterfly PET tape from Lin Chia Ning. Here's the, here is the roses and berries tape from Freckles Tea. So you can see I've put everything from washi tape pieces to PET tape and even samples that I get from pen pals or from friends I'll stick in here. This is also really great and very portable for when I want to do some journaling outside of my apartment or even just away from my desk because I can just grab this, grab my journal and my pen case over here and I'm pretty much good to go unless I want to use other types of collage elements. So this is really great. I have some little stickers pasted it in here, some little Chivita. So when I can, I like to fill this up with pieces that I know that I'm going to use or ones that I want to use that I haven't in a while. And it makes it really easy to just peel it off and use it instead of having to cut out each element individually when I decide to use it because that can make decorating a spread take much longer than I want it to. Here are the last few miscellaneous pieces I wanted to mention that I use so often and that are my absolute favorite. I got a set of tweezers that are really, really helpful for placing elements into a collage or picking up stickers or just picking up anything tiny that I need to. They're really sharp as well, which is great, but you have to be careful when you use them. I wanted a pair for a long time and I'm glad that I finally got them and they're in one of my favorite colors, of course. So these are really helpful. I also got this foldable ruler from Midori. I was using a really long 15 inch ruler for a long time, trying to do things like my TN spreads, which 
was not very easy to do. So this one is really great because it can fold out into the full 30 centimeters and you can also use it to um, show the angle of things if you need a right angle and make sure that the things you're pasting into your spread or the lines that you're making vertically are straight. This is really, really helpful. It's very lightweight and it has the little dots here so that you can mark your place exactly where you want it to. Lightweight, portable, and um, just all around really fun and easy to use. So I really like to use that ruler. And finally, I have my Instax mini photo printer. If you know me, I really love Instax. I have a pink camera I've taken with me all over the world to take one-time photos that are hanging up in my apartment and the printer just is so much better than that. I do love the camera, but this printer makes it really easy to print out photos right then and there and stick them into my journal. I know that they'll stay looking nice for a long time. And because I can use it with my phone, the print quality is as good as it's gonna get with Instax. It still sort of has that vintagey, um, not quite perfect feel, you know, it's not, 4k quality or anything like that but it's perfect for my journals and anything that i need it for and it sits in this case right next to my desk whenever i want to use it all right that is everything from this video my favorites for now thank you so much for watching please let me know what some of your favorite stationery has been lately i'm always looking for new stuff to add to my collection that i know that i'll really love and use all the time i have so much more to share with you. This was just the highlights. I would love to do a more in-depth video showing you, for example, all of the PET tapes and washi tapes that I have and use because I had to choose just a few and that was really painful. <laughs> so I have more to share in my next videos. I hope you will stick around and watch those when they come out as well. Thanks for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.